will find what they've always wanted, will see their dreams come true. We were sailing toward Boston when all of a sudden the ship was shrouded in fog. We never saw the island. We never saw the Rockies go until we were on her. We hit the rocks and over we went. I managed to pull myself onto the only life raft and floated off the coast for hours. Sometime before the dawn, I lost my oldest friend, my good friend Captain Flint, my parents, my constant companions since me you. And as I saw him flying off into the sunrise, I happened to glance upon the shore. There, on the water's edge, stood Captain Billy Bones, one foot in the sand, the other perched on that wondrous magic chest. It was the last I saw of the island, of the treasure, and of that mischievous grinning Billy Bones. After the crew had boarded a rescue ship, they began to tell tales of spiders and snakes and something else that crawls the island at night, the island of the skull, Treasure Island. Sailors, brave and strong and mean. Uh, yes, brave and strong, but mean? Is that necessary? Well, look no further than the door, my dears. For here come the pirates of the Jolly Roger. Sound good. You're very kind and generous to help you. Kind and generous. That's us, ain't it?
Beware of pirates in the sea. Yeah. 
Grab the map, Jim. I'll read it. How about you give me your half map and I will read it? All right. You caught me. Old habits die hard, I guess. But I'll keep trying. I'll get it right yet. Whew. How about this? I'll read my half of the map to you, and you read your half to me. Sounds good. Leaving the jungle, take the path through the mountain, and go to the beach. Oh, that's where we are now! Oh, what does it say next? It's your turn. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. The treasure can be found. Under the big blue, blue. What? Well, well, it's your turn, lad. There's nothing there. Something's in the last word. All right, who did it? Well, if none of you ate the treasure map, then who did? <laughs> And that's not just any pair. It's the old long lost soulmate, Captain Flint. Me, my old friend, I miss you so. My good old friend missed me so. I know. You got to wonder about someone who feels this way about a bird. <laughs> well, after a cheerful reunion, we renewed our search. We knew that the treasure was under something big and blue. We checked under the big blue trees.
basket of riches from the bottom of the sea, along with the oysters. She got the pearls. I'll be the envy of all pirate girls. <laughs> and for our fair weather outlook, a winter jacket to accompany him on those nights when it got cold. It matches my outfit and my baby so cold. <laughs> and as for me, I have found me long lost friend Captain Flint, and no treasure compares to a true, trusted friend. And you, Adam Spirits, who have guided us, guided us on our way. There must be something for you in that chest. We need nothing else. For a sister's greatest gift is knowing her brother is safe. <laughs> <laughs> Have you missed us, Jimmy boy? Have ya? Huh? Have ya?
come at last to the end of our play. But life doesn't end after the final curtain. Oh, no. Jim spent the rest of his many days telling tales of the old Wells Bradley Inn. Telling tales of children, both 